y'all, before I start this video, I want to give a big shout out to Cyberpunk, y'all. And this is my reason why. Cyberpunk, y'all, like, what makes them really a good company, y'all, especially is like, they do look out for the gamers. They do. And this and this the thing. So, um, some of y'all more likely probably already saw episode 5 of Cyberpunk, or you probably haven't. I just recently do it in, that's why I'm doing this video now. But pretty much the main point I'm trying to get before I really start this video is that, guys, for us content creators, gaming content creators, you know the biggest issue when you play a game be the music. Because the music could have copyright music and that could mess up yourself if you are big that you know you have a, you're monetized or just they uh, YouTube get hit you with that note you gotta cut that piece out or mute that piece out or you might have to put a claim on your video I mean or like I already claim your video things you know etc cetera, etc cetera. so Cyberpunk went out of the way and set up a thing that like a setting that like once you play the game if you know you make a content or whatever on it you could set it so that there will be no copyright music affect to you playing the game y'all if this game ain't game in a year I don't know what is because that right there alone is make me way more hype about the game getting it now because that was back in my mind like dang it uh, if I play this game murder the copyright music is probably gonna mess me up this and that but no, they got you. Like, come on, y'all. You cannot tell me that is good. That is good right there. Very good. But, enough of that. Let me go ahead and start this video with my regular intro of it. What's good, 9197 Black Wolves and YouTube? This is your boy, Tyler9197, Witcher9197, Black Wolf9197. Or now what now? Back with another video for you guys, and this time it's gonna be a episode five of me talking about giving you guys my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire, y'all. So I'm very excited to talk about this one, y'all, and also this is the last episode of Night City Wire. So for uh, Cyberpunk to come out on December 10th. Which I still like, quote unquote, coming out in December 10th. Like, I mean, hopefully, hopefully. But I would say, y'all, honestly, from watching this, I have a little more faith that it will come out on that date. But at the same time, I'm going to hold that a little bit of doubt, a little bit, just for the sake of like, this is a very complex game, and there's a lot of crap going on in this game. So that's why I kind of hold my breath a little bit. But. If they can do it, I do. I have faith enough that it will come out that day, and I'll be very happy. I hopefully they do, because I got some stuff to talk about in this video. So, guys, from watching episode five, we learn. Well, for this one, we learn about more about things in the game, about like how uh, more about Johnny Silverhand. That's like probably one of the biggest highlights out of the thing with Johnny Silverhand. Uh, more about. Um, like the animations of like of like the of like lip sync and how like the different languages of doing the parts and stuff like that and like the music in the game and then of course I told you the big one was like for content creators they're gonna have a setting that like you know the copyright music won't affect you if you're trying to stream the game or live stream etc etc like you guys already know so but the first one I want to go ahead and talk about is the one with Johnny Silverhand that the, what they gave us from it so so like so one that I I'm actually surprised was I'm actually right about one point where I said uh, I want to say probably the last video I want to say of the the, the special the cyberpunk special I want to say I was right about it because I uh, saw that um, I had seen that like Johnny Superhead really did die because that's what they mentioned they said oh he died like ages ago but somehow like this chip which I did say that it's probably like some type of chip whatever that, that get implanted in V and then Johnny Silverhand becomes his conscience and like that's the one you actually go talk to throughout the game which is really interesting and plus like 
and then they kind of went on more detail about Johnny Silverhand, how he's kind of like kind of somewhat of a douche, but at the same time, he is very, I say, I don't want to say intelligent, but he's definitely smarter than you think type dude. Type, yeah, that's what it is. And not only does he's a rocker, he's also very dangerous too. So it's like, and so, and this saying like how him and V kind of merge either like some missions you really doing at like V like doing it because you're playing as V, or you, or you do missions based on like what Johnny Silverhand wants you to do to take out the big I got big old corpos I want to say I think that's the main thing but still there's a lot more into that and then they went more deep of like Keanu how he how he, his role was playing as Johnny Silverhand and how like him doing the mocap and stuff which is like he felt like this was bigger like this was what like way bigger experience that he ever had done so it's always cool to see that because I mean who hates Keanu like Keanu is a really cool cool dude so it's like you know so he definitely a good Johnny Silverhand as far as like well I mean well basically that's he is Johnny Silverhand because in the game and that's you know that's Keanu Keanu Johnny uh, you know uh, Johnny Silverhand so so yeah like you know things like that he talking about his process of it which I think is really interesting I really like that kind of give you an idea of, like what uh, these companies go through making these games and honestly guys they go through a lot like you know, like sometimes you gotta really think about it. Like some of the big games, you be say like, for example, like G like GTA 6, right? Everybody want GTA 6, but you gotta understand that like it takes time to make these worlds, and they're complex. There's a lot going into them, so it's like honestly, you just gotta take your time. And to be honest, y'all, as gamers, there is plenty of games to play. It just it just depends as you as a gamer what you like to play. That makes it feel like forever. Cause me, honestly, like a GTA 6, I can wait for it. Honestly, I I'm not really thinking about it too much, to be honest. It's like whenever it comes out, it comes out. And Lord and Lord willing, I live to see it come out. That's how I kind of look at it. You know, it's that type of thing. But honestly, it's like it's whatever. Cause I mean, there's a bunch of stuff to play. Cyberpunk on the other hand is a little different story for me. Cause if y'all know, I said this look. Like I'm not just a Witcher fan for nothing. Like I, I love the brand themselves. Like they, like they got my respect, and like they take their time into the games, and I love it. And also, the, the highlight, the other highlight I was telling you about is the music. Guys, they really went in depth with music. They really put it like, cause uh, they put it, like, all their hard work in it to make you feel like you, when you're in this world, of cyberpunk, you feel it with the music. And people need to understand. Music play music plays a key part to any game, y'all. It doesn't matter how good the gameplay is in the game. It doesn't matter how good the story in the game. Music plays a very, very huge part in the game because it gets you more immersed into the game. And it's like you can have a cool story, you can have a good gameplay, but if the music does not land with the game. It could actually make it or break a game. I mean, not all the time, but for most games, y'all, music plays a big part in a game. And I can tell you it's a good example, like Ghost Recon Breakpoint. That game, like if y'all watch my review of it, uh, I, I didn't really, I didn't really like the game at all. Like I tried to give it a chance, but it just was not that good. But biggest part of the game, y'all, that was not really in the game was the music, y'all. And music plays a big part, y'all. Like it does. Like because it's just like okay, it say like if you're going to you going to travel somewhere and it's a boring destination, but if you got music to kind of get you with her, you'd be like, all right, you know, you just listen, you know. You fly and whatever, you listen to the music, like, okay, I mess with that music. I feel the, you feel the world, you feel it. it that's why I say music plays a big part in that game. Well, that one, at least I can say, if, if you play Ghost Recon, play Wildlands. That's a way better game, in my opinion. But, okay, well, I mean, it has some truth. It's not just only my opinion, but some truth to that. But still, um, yeah, but so, okay, but back to it, like, yeah, like, guys, music plays a big part, so they were going through, like, how they, how they got, like, probably, like, 150 different groups or people, uh, just, like, making songs 
for Cyberpunk, y'all. Like, that is dedication. Because they want us to feel immersed in it. And they say, like, the radio. They can play a music in the radio. And you and say, like, say, like, the music got some beat to it. And say, like, you're going to high speed chase or something. So you look like, da 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 is going up and beyond in this game and to me this is still a game of the year like there's no ill buzz about it nobody can tell me nothing that's how i feel about this game for cyberpunk but um but yeah that was kind of some of the big things and then also like i said before another highlight was the lip syncing they took their time with y'all they took their time to make sure the lip sync is right to make you feel like the characters that you meet that you talk to not only for different languages too is believable and that's what i love about cd project red y'all they try to make you when you're in this world it's it's believable. Whatever you do, it's believable. It's not just feel like, oh, you're playing a game. You feel like, dang, this is some real stuff. But it's in a game, and it makes it really, really believable. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Like, Cyberpunk is taking their time, and I love every bit of what they're doing, y'all. Like, they, it, it, it's like, it's just really good. It's just overall really good, y'all. They just really taking their time. And it's just, that's why I feel like, I believe a bit is coming out on December 10th but like I said I'm not holding my breath too much if they say it delayed it again but that's not trying to be negative y'all but it just let's be honest some of these games like if they I feel like if it need to be cooked more in the oven it need to be cooked more in the oven but for what they were showing what they was talking about showing all the different things from what they were doing on this um you know on this video all I can truly say y'all I would definitely say that I feel like honestly, like it, it pop is a huge chance that it will come out this and I'm gonna be ready for it. I absolutely ready. But yeah, like I said, this is the last Night City Wire, y'all. So we just gotta wait to go with Cyberpunk. And honestly, I feel like they gave us a good amount of information what we needed to know, the gameplay, drive, and all this and that from the past other Night City Wires. But all I can say as a as a fan of the Cyberpunk, I am ready. But of course, like they also have the 2077 at, in their name, so it's like it might come out 2077, y'all. So I'm just saying, just be prepared if that's the case. If it, it's supposed to come out December 10th, but we have to see though. I would hold my breath, but but I don't want to be too negative. I know I keep on repeating myself, y'all, but you have to understand. I want this game to come out. I'm ready to play this game because once Cyberpunk comes out, y'all. That's going to be the main game I'm going to play for a good minute. That is going to be my content for a while. So I'm just letting y'all know that too. When I get Cyberpunk, that's my content. Of course, I'm going to do my regular talks like I'm doing right now with y'all. Or whatever gaming news that I want to talk about. Or, or anime review here and there. Which I will, I will let you know too. I will have an anime review very, very soon. Just to let you know. But, yeah, but, but besides that, like, you know, they're just... That's just gonna be the main game for a while until I jump back to the other games. And whew, sorry, you know, Cyberpunk gonna be a long game, y'all. Like as far as like what you can do in that world, so it's gonna be a bit. So I'm gonna be playing that. But but besides all that, you know, it's gonna be worth it <laughs> when this game comes out. And hopefully it does come out December 10th. I'll be ready. So but uh, overall, that's. Pretty much it for the video, but what do you guys think about the Night City Warrior episode five? Do y'all love it? Do y'all hate it? I was to be honest, y'all. If you if you went this far of watching the the Night City Wires for Cyberpunk, you can't hate it. Honestly, to be honest, I don't feel like you should really hate it. But still, do you love it? Hate it? Did it care about it? Which I mean, I, I mean, I feel like still the same thing. Like you, you, if you didn't care about, it, why you watch all the episodes to that, right? Right, but still, like you know, small things like that. But still, like, uh, still, like, what are you guys' thoughts overall about it? Are y'all really hyped for Cyberpunk? Or do you believe it's gonna come out December 10th? Do you feel like it might get delayed again? Like, like, just any questions, y'all? I want to hear from y'all. 
But alright Black Wolves, this is the end of the video. So please go ahead, hit the like, follow, subscribe. I said this all on my other videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so so you can join the 9197 Wolfpack. This is a fun kickback gaming channel which has the greatest community in the world, which is you guys, the Black Wolves. So go ahead and spread the word to your friends and family who likes gaming so they can go ahead and join the Wolfpack because everybody's welcome to the pack. I'm going to sound like a broken record again, y'all. Y'all know this. You watch my videos this far, you know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna say I'm keep on saying it though. This is the thing, y'all. I'm gonna keep on saying it until it happens, and I believe it will happen, guys. I'm at 297. I just need three more subscribers, and I will be at my 300 sub milestone. So y'all, please go ahead and subscribe to your boy if you truly want to. But just remember, we are part of the Wolf Pack. That without y'all. I can't grow without y'all I'm nothing so that's why I'm saying y'all please sub if you truly want to but not only that you sub you're part of the wolf pack or which gonna be the one of the biggest gaming communities in the world which is you guys the black wolves I say so many times y'all please sub I'm really close y'all I'm really close please sub sub to your boy but alright guys I love y'all peace God bless y'all TGDS, and I'm gonna say this too because I know it's been a minute because y'all probably don't know what TGD, a TGDS means. It means true gamers don't stop. Period, y'all. True gamers don't stop. Period, y'all. Enough said. 9197.